You know, it is an embarrassment to a school district that's bleeding students and money. And tonight, Detroit students are still being locked out of costly classrooms that you spent a fortune to build. Tonight, the seven investigators hold school buses accountable for district waste that's left students in the dark. Here's seven investigator Ross Jones. For creative young people in Detroit, few places are better than the Detroit School of Arts, a $200 million jewel in Midtown, a high school unlike any other. Built 10 years ago, at a time when the district was bleeding money, no expense was spared. That includes millions upon millions of dollars for treasures that remain hidden from students. Do they ever talk about why the equipment's locked away? No, they never talked about it. You just can't use it? Yeah, it's just a side of the school that we don't use. But we know it's there. What Dagenet and scores of other students don't know is that behind these locked doors is TV equipment that would rival most networks, equipment they've never touched. In 2005, the district paid premium prices for eight high definition studio cameras like these, nearly $200,000 for each. Video switchers in two control rooms ran at least $700,000 a piece, and this lighting grid, it was another million. The equipment made DSA Studios not just some of the best in the country. Try the world. <laughs> Try the world. I mean, they spent, I believe, somewhere uh, in excess of $30 million. Yes, that's right. The bill for all of this gear, about $33 million. It not only embarrasses me, but it also angers me that someone constructed a school for the purpose of educating kids, and they actually aren't. And they haven't for 10 years. When Steve Wilson and I started asking questions in 2009, district officials blamed their predecessors, saying the studios were built without a curriculum, the equipment was too sophisticated, and they didn't have the money to train instructors. They promised us back then that the students would be using the equipment in just a few weeks. We're solving a lot of problems in the school district in one and two days' time that used to take seven months and seven years to solve. As you know, it's a new day in town with Detroit Public Schools. Turns out it wasn't. These were the studios in 2009, and six years later, virtually nothing has changed. After three emergency managers, the studios still dark, the equipment still locked away. Oh, it's a new day in town with Detroit Public Schools. That was then. This is now. Ross Jones, Jeff Martin. We tracked down the emergency manager for Detroit Public Schools before he stepped down this month. We did an interview five years ago with your colleague, Mr. Wasco, who was sitting to your left, and he vowed that this was going to be addressed and was being addressed at that moment. Five years later, we're in the exact same spot we were in. I think a big difference now is that one of the governor's top priorities is career tech education. Can you promise that a year from now, the studios will be up and running, the equipment will be functional, students can finally take advantage of it? I could not make that promise, but what I can promise you is that uh, uh, all of the programming at uh, DSA uh, will be enhanced. Well, only a few weeks after that interview, things finally started to change. Our cameras were there when volunteers from Detroit Public TV were working to get the equipment up and running. The smaller of the two studios is nearly functional, we're told, but the much larger and more costly one, along with its multi-million dollar control room, DPS has no plans today to get that one running, saying it needs much more work. Officials insist that as early as next month, students could begin to use one of the studios after teachers are instructed on how it works. And this time, they say they mean it. It's not rocket science. You built the damn school for the purpose of educating kids in television, so utilize the darn facility. Seems simple enough. Well, even though the equipment is still awfully nice, and it is nicer than a lot of what we have in here right now, after 10 years, some of it is getting out of date. And getting it up to the current standards could cost, we're told, about 400 grand. But a spokeswoman for DPS tells me they don't have that kind of money. And for now, students will have to learn with some outdated equipment, assuming they end up using it. Wow, you know it doesn't Boggles. take long. Yeah. So it's been sitting there for 10 years doing nothing. And you start asking questions, and then suddenly, boom. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Uh, it is? They would tell you, in fact, they told me they were going to solve this anyway. Right. It doesn't really matter to us. We don't want the credit. We just want this to work so that we're not doing a story next year saying it's been 11 years. What's a shame is that it's outdated after 10 now, years yeah, and now 400,000 to update it. Well, they stuff. have HD cameras, but, you know, it's still very nice. Some of it not as nice as it would be if they bought it today, for sure. Well, right. good job staying on top of the story after all of these years and hope getting it, it resolved. Yeah, sure. let's hope so. All right, tonight.